Hello everyone, so my name is Christy and I'm currently in the fourth year of my Bachelor's of Mathematics at the University of Waterloo. So there were two key reasons why I chose my program in school. First of all, when I was in high school, I was really good at and I really enjoyed courses that involved mathematics. So for example, finance, computer science, physics, calculus, algebra, and courses like that. But I wasn't ready to commit to any of them just yet, so it made sense for me to go into a program that does general mathematics and I could specialize later on. The second reason is because Waterloo has a co-op program. So your traditional university program is usually around four years where you do two terms of school and you have the summers off. But for Waterloo, the co-op program that it delivers, uh, it is a five-year program and you do internships and school terms back to back. So you graduate in five years with six internships, which equals to two years of work experience. And I really value the work experience aspect of this. So the structure of most of the courses involve going to lectures and then doing smaller weekly assignments and then having a very large final at the end of the term. Because of the pandemic, everything's a little bit different, but prior to the pandemic, the weighting on the finals would usually be around 50 to 70%. I believe a really good skill to have to be successful in this program would be your time management skills because in our co-op program when you're on a school term you need to balance recruiting as well as doing assignments so you really need to manage your time properly in order to be successful academically as well as during your job search so in mathematics there's a lot of programs and options to choose from there's a lot of majors specializations minor or joint degrees um, some examples can include um, mathematical finance data science actuarial science math business and things like that so the content that you do really depends on the major that you select So in terms of admission, I believe the basic requirement is a 80% in all of the required math courses. Um, however, in order to be competitive, um, you should try to aim for a low to mid 90. For reference, I applied five years ago and my average was about a 94%. I would say something that really boosts your application would be doing computer science contests or math contests. Uh, I did those every year starting from grade nine. And if you achieve a good grade on that, it would be really beneficial for you to put that on your application as well. So my recommendation is that when you're in high school, try to take every single math and CS course that your school possibly has to offer. And outside of school, make sure you study the math contest questions, go to computer science competitions, um, do online coding challenges and all of those things. And specifically, don't focus on calculations because when you're in university, knowing a formula or just calculating something is not enough. You need to really focus on your problem solving skills. And when you go to university, you will find that a lot of the problems that you do on assignments are really similar to the problems on math contests or computer science competitions. When you go to university, in your first year, your courses are fairly set. You may or may not pick electives based on your major. But in general, everyone in math in first year, they take four math and two CS courses. Um, the math courses are uh, proofs, linear algebra, and two calculus courses. And for the CS courses, if you want to prepare ahead of time, I will recommend learning um, either C or Python. Something that I discovered after going to university is that uh, your program doesn't really decide your future job. It is your skills that decide your future job. Um, from my experience, for the exact same position, people from engineering, CS, math, science can all be equally as competitive. So don't feel like you're going to be tied down. You don't need to be in mathematical finance to get a job in finance. Uh, you don't need to be in computer science to get a job in computer science. In general, when you go into math, um, any analytical job would work for you. So I personally would really recommend living on campus because it's so close and you get to meet a lot of new friends. In general, there's two styles of dorms. 
So the first type is more like an apartment kind of style where you have your own bedroom, you have your own kitchen, and you have your own washroom, and you have a shared living room. The other type of style would be the more traditional kind of dorm where you eat in the cafeteria and you have a shared washroom on your floor. From my experience, the price for both of these styles was around the same, so it really depends on your personal preference. In general, I feel like there is a lot of international students at the University of Waterloo. Personally, I feel like everyone is really welcoming. Most people travel away from home and away from their families and live on campus, and everyone's just trying to make new friends. So in terms of campus wellness, there's two things I want to address. So first, I um, want to talk about general wellness. The school does have wellness programs and it's really accessible on campus. In addition to that, I personally would recommend reaching out to professors. When I was in high school, a lot of my teachers told me that when I go to university, the profs wouldn't care about you, but that is not true at all. Um, in my own experience, the professors were super helpful and very understanding, so I would recommend reaching out to them if you have an issue with any in addition to that, because it is a co-op program, a lot of the stress you will be feeling will be because of recruitment. So you will get a co-op advisor where you could book meetings with, talk to them if you're having trouble, and you can also book other sessions to talk about your employment, practice your interviewing skills, have someone edit your resume. So there's a lot of resources out there. If I could go back to first year, the first thing I would tell myself is to stop comparing myself with others and just focus on my own growth. Because it is a co-op program, every four months you're going to hear and see where everyone else is going for their next internship. You will have friends that work at really competitive companies making tens of thousands of dollars every term. And you will know people who uh, work at smaller firms and make a couple thousands of dollars per term. Um, the key here is to not compare yourself with others. How much money you make or what job you have doesn't define your self-worth. So just focus on your own growth and work hard towards your own goal. Another thing you might be tempted to compare about is GPA. When I was in first year, my grades were the lowest it has ever been in my entire life. And I was really upset about that. But what I want to say is don't stress, don't compare, it happens. You'll slowly catch up, you'll get used to the workload, and you still have a few more years to build up your grades again. 